Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're all well and uh, in this video is going to be an update on one of my previous videos. A lot of people have been asking me to update the Ionic, uh, the video I made about Ionic contacts and how to query them. Uh, it was made 9 months, I think 9 months back, uh, last April or May I made it. So people were saying uh, Ionic has undergone a lot of changes so kindly update it and all that. So I decided to make an update video. Uh, this is rather uh, a very small update but still I decided to make a video so that uh, you know I would highly recommend you uh, still to watch the previous video once guys cause uh, I'm not going to go in depth into the concepts that I mentioned there I'm just going to say what are all the changes that we need to do in order to get that working so I'll, I'll leave a link for that video in this description below anyway let's get started with this video now first I have uh, created a new Ionic 2 application and uh, I have opened it in my editor. Uh, this is, these are the configurations if you want to have a look, it's RC5 edition. Now let's uh, move on with the code. First I'll open pages and uh, in home.html I'll just copy the same from our previous repo and paste it here. So contacts home, this is the home right. Uh, this one we need not, uh, we need, we don't need it anymore since we are using TypeScript now. For that, I'll go ahead and add the contact plug, auto plugin contacts. Sorry. Okay, this is added. Now what we'll do is uh, come back here and then paste whatever we need from this constructor oh sorry there is HTML or we'll paste it first Very simple piece of code as you might know. Now what we need to do is we need to import the uh, contacts and this is the change guys. You need to import another class called component called uh, contact field type. Okay, Both of them from our uh, the native plugin which we just added the contacts plugin right. Okay. And uh, the next thing we need to do is oh, we need an add contact page. Okay, for now let us just, the next thing we need to do is, uh, uh, we will go to home.html and add the code there. So now I'm coming back to home.ts and uh, the change that we need to do here is we can't give it like this guys. Uh, and this is where we need to give our change. For example, uh, uh, this is as I said before, it represents the, this represents the field and this represents the options. So the field can be a little just. Oh, we get a, see the. The field can be an address, birthday, categories, or country, or department, or display name, or emails, right? So, uh, what we need to do is we need to have a uh, R value equal to not a uh, contact field type. In this case, we need display name. Okay. Very simple piece of code. Uh, now, what we do? We need to cast this. Now what we'll do is we'll give the R value. So this dot R value. Okay. 
now uh, we have done the necessary changes contact field type uh, we are giving it as uh, giving it like this and then uh, adding it here in our contacts dot find uh, let's do the save function as well so that it looks like a complete app uh, it's, it resembles our previous repo so i'll go here and then ironic generate Okay, it's done. So I'll get into add contact and then uh, as usual get into my repo here. Go to pages, add contact. And yeah, long back if you notice we are still using JS fields, right? It was that period of time that uh, I made this repo. And actually uh, when I made this uh, Ionic 2 wasn't that much popular. Everyone was still using Ionic 1. And Angular 2 wasn't popular. It was popular, but uh, there were no stable versions either. So this repo gradually, you know, it was like this blog, Ionic 2 blog, my Ionic 2 blog, and my Ionic 2 repositories were very much uh, famous at that time. A little bit of self promo there, guys. So <laughs> I'm sorry. So let's just uh, use this. we need to do oh, we need to bring all these values here right so i'll just type them out that will be much easier i guess So now, yeah, we are almost done guys. Let's finish the HTML as well for add contact. And last but not least, get into app app.module.ts import from pages add contact contact okay and inside this into home.ts here just import it again import very simple piece of code right now add contact page okay now we can simply use it like A very simple piece of code right now let's run it on our mobile since it's using Cordova native plugins let's run it on our mobile and see 
if this still works out as fine as it did last year so let me just connect my mobile guys screen is again seems to be a success let's just you know uh, I'll just run by 7 square so that you guys could see my phone screen as well as you can see our uh, app is running on my phone so first I'll give add contact and I'll uh, enter some name Okay, I'm clicking on save. It shows alert saved, right? Now let's just see if it is actually saved in our mobile. Now let's try searching for our contact. So it was. See, you can find your find our contact, right? It shows up here right closely and the reason is that if you notice in our code we have written like uh, where is it, where is it? we are displaying only the display name right item dot display name that's a reason why uh, our uh, display name Bruce Lee alone is displayed guys so as usual our contacts thing is working fine I would have dug deeper into this guys but I feel like I pretty much explained it a bit well in my previous video I'll, I'll leave a link uh, and the in screen I'll leave a link for it also as well and I'll leave a link in the description below for that video as well this video is just to update that previous video because a lot of people were complaining that that didn't work well and they were asking me to update it on both my blog and my uh, video so that's why I'm doing this uh hope you enjoyed it. hope you enjoyed it guys hope you found it helpful kindly share it with someone else if you found you think it would help them too i'll i'll try to post more video guys the reason why i didn't post for the past one 10 days is that uh, i was busy working on something else guys i'll i'll try to post more frequently throughout this year i'm not taking a bit of break or anything so yeah guys uh, I'll, I guess I subscribe to watch more cool stuff and I guess I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.